Hello and welcome to part 7 of my Pokemon Sun Wonderlock. As well as I'm just said on the bottom screen, if you were paying attention, it's time to take on that Ilumo character. But first, let's have a quick team uh, recap. Starting, of course, with Carnivine, the level 12 uh, Carnivine, with the <laughs> Vine Whip, Bite, Sleep Powder, and Leech Seed. Up next, we have Wommel or Vommel. The uh, level 13 cutie fly with absorb fairy wind, stun spot, and silver wind. Thank you, Habitat. We have Habitat, the level 11 Spearo, who has Peck, Fury, Attack, Lay, and Pursuit. Next, we have Mono Zaito, the level 15 Solosis with Psy Wave, Reflect, Rollout, and Hidden Power. We don't know the Hidden Power type just yet. And last but not least, we have Pixap, the uh, unofficially on the team at the moment, not part of the layout because we're not sure we're keeping him, sorry, her, Surskit, who has bubble, quick attack, sweet scent and water, but the deal is we already have a bug type so I don't really want a second one on the team, however, um, Surskit does deal with quite a few of bugs weaknesses, uh, including fire and rock, so um, if we don't get a better water type, Surskit will end up staying, picks up, but uh, if we do get a water type, a half decent water type, then we will be boxing picks up for the time being. Anywho, let's get this show on the road. But before we do, I kind of want to just finish exploring this way. I think there's a dead end, like, right up there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, dead end. Okay, but there is also a berry tree. Yay! Oh. Oh. There's a Pokemon feeding on the berries, and it leaps out at you. Now, no, these don't count as an extra encounter that we can catch. But uh, I guess it's an extra bit of training before we get these berries. Crabrawler. Meet Carnivine. Is Crabrawler part water or part ice? I can't remember. Let's find out, shall we? Bubble. Okay, it's using a water move, which is good for me. An ice move would be bad. Oh, that's neutral, so it looks like it's either part ice or it's not part anything, it's just pure fighting. I don't actually know, thinking about it. But if it were part water, this would be super effective, so... Whatever, though, we're still taking it down in two hits. Which is fine by me. Level 13 for Carnivine. Yeah, boy! Alright, well, what berries we got? Berry! Citrus Berry. Oh, that's good, actually. That's really good. Uh, the Chesto Berry. <laughs> Became a thing last time. Don't know why. A Lapa Berry. More. Wow, more berries. And a Person Berry. Very good. Alright. Is that everything? Okay, let's mooch back round. We ain't cutting through the grass there. That would almost qualify grinding. Okay. Ilimna. Greetings, Captain Ilima here. On my trial, begins mere steps from here in Verdant Cavern. Note that the Pokémon living within Verdant Cavern are quite fierce. I wouldn't venture in unless you prepared you prepared some potions and so forth. Yeah, okay, potion spamming for bosses. Through oh wait, through attempting the trials during the Island Challenge, one can exceed his or her own limits. That is what the Alolan people believe. Once you enter Verdant Cavern, you will not be able to leave until you have completed the trial. Are you prepared for the trial? Yeah, boy! Let's go! I'll be waiting for you. I don't think that was Illumina's voice, but it is now. Time for training, time for trials, time for the text to go off screen before you read it all. Hope so. There we go, in we go. That awkward camera change really threw me off for a second. Oh, look! A cutscene showing off the uh, the graphics of the game. Who'd have thunk it in Pokemon Sun? Let me formally welcome you to Verdant Cavern. I am your captain, Illumar. Allow me to explain the basics of my trial. What you should attempt to do is... Oh. <laughs> Thumbnail achieved. Defeat three of the Pokemon that lurk here in their dens. Then reach the pedestal deep within the cave, and collect the Z, Z crystal there. You will need to be completely in sync with your Pokemon to succeed against these Route 1 rats. 
Grrr. Oh dear. And there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Many strong Pokemon make their home in this cave, but one stronger and more fearsome than all the rest, known as a Totem Pokemon, also resides here. It will be your, the greatest obstacle you face as you attempt to clear my trial. By the way, until you clear the trial, you will not be able to catch Pokemon in Verdant Cavern. This is but one of the seven trials you will face during your island challenge. Silence. And it begins now, the trial of Captain Ilma. I don't know, maybe we'll use Ilma's face as the uh, thumbnail. Who knows? You'll have to... F well, you, you, you know, because you clicked on the video and it already had a thumbnail, I assume. Right, so I think that's up a ledge, isn't it? Yep, yeah, okay, cool. So we can't grab that. Terrific. Alright then, what are you saying? There's a small den here. Will you look inside it? Yeah, Will. Know me. Well, I know you. Young Goose! Right, what level are we dealing with? Are we good? Are we good? Level 11, we're kind of good. We're sort of on par, if not a tiny bit above. Are we faster? Let's go for a bite. Yep, yeah, see if we can get the flinches, seeing as we are apparently faster. Sand Atuk. It's not very nice. That's not very nice! Might as well bite here. To save the Vine Whip uh, Stab PP. I think Vine Whip might... I don't know, how strong is Vine Whip? I'm going to have to have a look at my moves. Let's have a look at my moves! Still two more Pokemon to defeat, in case you can't count down one from three. Let's have a look. At my moves, right. Vine Whip has 45 power times 1.5 is 67.5. Yeah, so it is stronger. Might have one shot that young goose with Vine Whip, worth knowing for future. Right, where next? Oh, hi. It's been ambushed by another one. Another young goose. We're going to get sick of seeing these in this episode, aren't we? We're going to get sick of young goose in this episode. Right, let's test my theory then. I mean, this is a different young goose, so its stats might be different, but let's test my theory anyway, roughly. Yep. <laughs> and that's a significantly weaker young goose. Oh, my theory was correct. Oh, okay, that counted. Oh, wait, we got a shiny. What's the shiny thing here? Orange berry, very nice, very nice. Okay, I, I'd, I'd go in that area, but ooh, brick break. So that's basically to help us in this, in this area, isn't it? Hello, I'm in the shiny area. No. Oh, let's so walk across here. Oh look. Oh, I can't go up there. I can go up. Oh! Move my DS too much. There we go. Call through here. Get the item. Super Pataillon. Very nice. That's what I always wanted. Hi. There's a small den here. Will you look inside it? There's nothing inside. You little liar. Oh, you scoundrel. You little scamp. Hello! Is there anything inside this one? No, no. Okay, terrific. Uh, let's get this item. X defense. And is there a Pokemon in here? Oh, for God's sake. So what's the deal? Do you have to go to the next one that it appears at or something? Do you have to like predict it? Let's try that. Oh. Never mind. We had to do that. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Come on. Yo, yo, yo! Let me speak on this. Oh, If you get that reference, check out the description below for the link to WWE Baser. You'd like it over there. It's your berry thief boys back, back again, once again. No, don't say that. Remember us? 
Uh, sorry, who are you? <laughs> oh, I see. Just because we switched places, you can't tell who we are anymore? Yeah, that was it. Yep. Who cares about that anyway? We're here to mess up his trial up, yo! Oh yeah, that's right! Yo! Let's get that Pokemon, homie! What's this guy doing? Oh, bad man. Yeah, boy, let's go! Take this guy on. With the funky team skull music. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Josie! Oh! I've got bite. You're in a spot of bother here, aren't you, without realizing it? I will bite you! Okay, so 11 is like the level of this place, it seems. I'm guessing the uh, total mon will be higher than that, though. Sit down! That was easy. Is it cool for me to be in Team Skull if I'm in, if I'm this brittle? Haha. <laughs> brittle, like bones. Yeah, get it. What's up with that? I mean, what's up with that? For real though, I can't get my skull around it. This kid's mad strong, yo. He's got Pokemon above level 11. Run away! No, it ain't even like that. This kid is straight up dangerous, homie. I don't know, man. Isn't this whole place trouble? Yeah, it totally is, homie. I mean, that thing is so strong that regular Pokemon don't even want to come out and battle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, are you back again? Why? Yo, kid! You know there's a mad strong Pokemon lurking back here somewhere, right? I'd run if I were you. No, we're not going out like that. We're going to get our revenge. Go stand over that den and catch those skulking youngies, yo. For real? Fine. I've got no bones to pick with you. Ha, <laughs> bones. Get it? Skull. So they're going to cover two of the gaps, I'm guessing. And we take, we catch it out the last one. Or you would guess... Hey, look, I can catch the Pokemon now. Buzz off! Well, that's rude. What if I don't want to? Oh, big boy is a gumshoes. Come on, then. What level is this thing going to be? Oh, still 11. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, a lot stronger. Leh. Oh no! Oh look, I got Vine Whip. Never mind. Never mind. Nothing to worry about here. Sit down. Sit down! Level 14! Yes! Very good, very good, very good. We defeated all of the Pokemon in the world! Woo! Uh, what happens if I talk to this guy again? Yo! I'm over this! I'm out! But doesn't leave. Okay. What are you saying? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have bothered. What? No, it wasn't time to talk to that. Yo, 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 homie! You giving up already? Uh, I, I, I beat the thing. Like... Okay, you guys stay there. Whatever. Right. What is you saying? Fan fantastic! You proved your strength to all three Pokémon! Then go right ahead inside. Oh, cheers. Now to the heart of the cave. It's finally time to get your mitts on your first Z crystal. Zzzz. All right. Where's my Z crystal then? Oh, it's right there. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. But from where? Will you take the Z crystal from the pedestal? Yes, I will. I am a thief. Look who it is! <laughs> Come she's the total Pokemon Verdant Cavern has appeared! I'm challenged by Totem Gumshoes! Oh, I forgot to teach anything Grip Break. Whoopsie! These mistakes will not be tolerated. It's defense rolls, did it? Okay. 
What level are we? 12. Okay, so we're not too bad. We're not too bad. It's got higher defense, though. So... Oh, bums. Ow. Oh, Right, put the big boy to sleep, I think, is the first order of business. Got a little young goose here, that's fine. Little young goose. Nope. Yeah. Put the gumshoes to sleep, please, Carnivine. Thank you. Right, what's a uh, little young goose over there gonna do? Lay, not good. Nesh good. Nesh good. Because now instead of doing 10 damage, it's gonna do about 15, that big boy. So let's take that out, so it's not a problem anymore. There we go. <laughs> good night. Yeah, it's fast asleep. Okay, awesome. That's good. Right. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We were vine whipping the gumshoes. How much is this going to do? Wow, not an awful lot. Scary face. Is that the speed one or the not being able to switch out one? Speed. Okay. Let's put this thing back to sleep. Pretty, please. Oh, it can bite flinch me now. No anymore, it can't. Okay. Now, the question is, do we switch? We've taken two, two um, stat drops. It's got bite, which Wommel will resist. Yeah, I think we go to uh, Wommel. Free switch. It shouldn't wake up this turn. I think they have to sleep for one turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go Silver Wind, shall we? Oh, come on. No, no, no. There we go. Came back on just in time. Woo! Nice. Ah, oh, boo! How dare you? Is it worth stun spawning? Oh, come on! I didn't even move the DS that time. There we go. This is becoming a bit of a burden, this. Okay, you can bite flinch us, but can't do much with bite. Don't flinch. Okay, good. Right, come on, get the boost so we can be faster again. Damn it. I only really wanted the speed from it. I should I should have uh, stun spawned, to be honest. So we can't get bite flinched to death. But it's living, so that's it. Battle over, guys. Battle over. Woo woo! Sit down. Nice! Well done, Vommel. Level 14. Coming in handy. And kind of finds level 15. Very nice. Oh. Vommel's very happy about this. No music though. Gumshoe's disappeared back into the cave somewhere. Oh, what an incredible trainer you are. For you to be able to defeat the Totem Pokemon that I trained up to such a powerful state? I don't know what I can say. You trained up to level 12, mate. What are you on about? Working in Hanami. Hanami? What's Hanami? Working in Harmony with your Pokemon. You have cleared the trial of Illumar! You are a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Ibeza. The Z crystal from the pedestal is yours now. Cool. Cool beans. Yay! <laughs> Just a awkward silence before it fades to black. You obtained a Normalium Z. Yeah, dear. Yeah, dear. What you have just received is the normal Z crystal. It is known as, it is known as Normalium Z. Now, if you like a Pokemon that can use a normal type move, hold that. You do a little dance. Like this. 
Once you take an elegant pose like this one, then you will be able to strengthen the normal type move by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Ah yes, first there is one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locale where the captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon, like Gumshoes just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to show up their offense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon and Lola are simply more inclined to help one another. Since you have managed to defeat the Totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try to catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some great balls! No thanks. Okay, ten of them. That's, that's okay, I guess. And here! Let me see to your Pokemon after all their hard work in here. Oh yeah, free heals are free. And all over the place in this game. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. Uh, no, I'm not done here. I want to catch Pokemon! Damn it, Eleanor. Oh! If you want to see more of that dreamboat Illumer, he's way to the outside of that cave of his. So, can we... Can we get encounters? Or do we have to go out and back in before we can get encounters? Right, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal, yo? Oh, okay! Right, this is a wild encounter. I can catch this! And I can trade it! Woo-woo! Oh, how unpredictable! It's a young goose. What a surprise. Uh, okay, so... We're gonna wanna sleep out of this and then start lobbing balls, because I think I'm gonna one-shot it even with Bite now that I'm level 15. Oi, think! Oi, think! I'm gonna knock it out, so I do. Should only be a Pokeball job here. We've got five left, that should be enough. He basically used a Pokeball eventually. There it is, down and B, down and B, boys. It's working, it's always working. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Yes, Carnivine, get your experience. Yay for data on Pokedexes. Pokedexes. Registered. Uh, with its sharp fangs, it will bite anything. Did not originally live in Alola, but it was imported from another region. <gasps> the mystery. It's a new Pokemon to Sun and Moon, and it's not originating in Alola. What? Let's see its action. <laughs> okay. And that's what you're saying. Okay, cool. Would you like to give Young Goose a nickname? Yeah, I would, actually. Over on the, uh... The main, I say the main channel, that's not really a good term, but Omni Base Plays Games in the Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke, link in the description by the way to Base Plays Games. I recently, I caught a uh, Pokemon, a Diglett in fact, spoiler alert, and called it Bobo today. So, I'm going to call this Bobo as well, and the reason is because it is... Well, it would have been legendary wrestler Bobo Brazil's 95th birthday today. If you're into your wrestling stuff, can't enter that word. Why? Why? Okay, well, we'll call, we'll call it Brazil then. <laughs> it's gonna ban that because that's got the word bra in it or something ridiculous as well, isn't it? Oh, that's a, that's a no. Oh, okay. oh, I can do that though. Right, okay, cool. Why can't I have Bo Bobo? What language is that offensive in? Ooh, look, an item. Anywho, what I was saying, yeah, if you're into d uh, wrestling, there's also a link in the description to WWE Baser uh, that you might enjoy. Can I get internet connection in uh, in this cave? In this cave right here? Looks like I can. Wonder Trade! Here we go. Would you like to continue? Yes, I would. Yes, save my game. Thanks. Connecting very slowly to the internet, please stand by. The music in Festival Plaza is great. It's just a shame Festival Plaza itself is rubbish. Cool. Right, we're on the internet. Oh, excuse me. We're on the internet. Start the wonder trade. 
And trade Brazil. Should have checked it for items. Oh, it's not, it's not got an item. Okay, cool. Level 11 Young Goose. What will I get in exchange? About to find out in hopefully. Oh, now. Alola, clap, clap, clap. Jorge from Spain. Murcia. Murcia. I don't know. Jorge. Sending Brazil to Jorge. Hey, sending Brazil to Spain. Fun fact, Brazil is the only South American country that doesn't speak Spanish. Oh, and Alola Meowth. Okay. Not actually mad about that. Not actually mad about that. Thank you, Jorge, for your Meowth. Let's have a look at Meowth's data in Perkadex. Registered. Yep, come on. Crack on. This Pokemon was not originally found in Lola. Human actions caused a surge in their numbers and they went feral. They're prideful and crafty. Let's have a look at this action. Oh, yes. Look at the sass. Look at the sass. And let's have a cry as well. Oh, look at the timing on that. That was nice. That was nice. Very good. Very good. Right. How do we get out of here? We hit X and then we hit Y. Beautiful. Disconnecting from the internet. Okay, so I think that's a really good point to leave today's episode, in fact, straight after a wonder trade. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.